So will these 3D Kegus be able to knock 3W off the throne as king of the Tesla floor liners in my Model Y? Let's find out. Greetings, salutations, and thanks for joining me for another video. Today we've got a good one, as we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Kegu all-weather custom-fit floor liners from 3D Max Spider. Now I'm sure that's a name you know if you have a Tesla, as they've been long considered one of the leaders in floor liners and mats. Now while this video isn't sponsored, 3D did reach out to me last month to see if I'd be interested in doing an honest review of their all-new Kegu floor liners. So this model is waterproof, has raised edges to keep dirt and debris in, has a non-slip textured rubber surface that looks extremely easy to clean, and is manufactured with non-toxic materials. The bottom also has patented grip technology to keep the mat in place. Honestly, <laughs> that's just marketing hype for it's got bristles on the bottom to keep it from moving. Now, I've currently been using the 3W floor liners for the last 10 months or so, and they have been absolutely great. 3W, 3D, I know, it's quite similar and a bit confusing, and I think 3W likely did that on purpose to copy one of the industry leaders in 3D Max Spider. Now, with that said, the 3Ws I've been using the last year have been great and are completely different from others on the market. In fact, they're the best I've tried, and I even said that in my four-month review. The main complaint about the 3Ws has been the look. So will these 3D Kegus be able to knock 3W off the throne as king of the Tesla floor liners in my Model Y? Let's find out. All right, so it's time for the unboxing. Let's take a look at what the 3D Kegus look like and compare them to the 3Ws that I've been using for about the last 10 months. Packaging is pretty good. Let's take each piece out. All right, so that looks like the driver's side mat. Here's the passenger mat. All right, so this is gonna be the uh, rear floor liner. I'll compare it to the 3Ws here in a second. And this is uh, the back seat. What I do like is that it's very smooth compared to the 3Ws, which have a bunch of grooves where rocks and salt and things like that can get, uh, can get caught. It definitely has texture for grip, but it's a lot smoother as far as cleaning. And then we also have a right and left uh, wheel wheel, just in case uh, you spill something down there, it should help a little bit, but it's a nice little touch. Let's uh, get this cleaned up and compare it to the current 3Ws. All right, so you can see on the 3Ws that it definitely has a lot more texture. It has a lot more, you know, different grooves and lines and things like that, more of a design element to it. Although that can cause a problem sometimes as you'll get like rocks or salt or sand or things like that stuck in there. It hasn't been too much of a problem yet. The other thing too is that on the back here, you have these little studs, which are, let me bring up close view here so you can see it. Kind of see these little studs right here. Those make it really grippy, so this thing does not move. And you can kind of see it's more of a soft rubber feel. It's definitely heavy duty, but soft rubber. So that's one aspect I have liked. So let's take a look at the 3D Kegus and see how they compare. All right, so it's definitely a lot lighter. Not a huge fan of that because it, it could move a little bit. So on the back, it has these little bristles back here. They call it some, you know, patented technology. Honestly, it's bristles. <laughs> That's all it is. So compared to the other one, which has the little studs, little spikes on the back, this just has a bunch of bristles. Um, definitely not comfortable to touch a lot. Let's see if it uh, holds down. I wish there was a little more weight to it, but overall, yeah, it's definitely a little lighter, but I do like the feel of it and I do like the texture. It definitely has a grippy texture. It's just different and you don't have so many of those deep grooves that you have on the three W's. And you can see that the logo here, a little more subtle on the three D's. All right, let's take a look when we lift it up. Whoa, what do we got there? That's the, that's the new cooler. Review coming in probably the next week. And if you're worried about airflow, don't. I have a solution. All right, so let's not worry about that right now, but let's take a look at this. It's fairly light, so pretty easy to lift up. It does move a little bit, but not too much. It does have these nice ridges back here. So if uh, anything does spill, I think you're pretty much protected. All right, and we do have these wheel well uh, liners here. And these just go right in here. 
and put the left one in. All right, let's go take a look at the rest of the car. All right, so for the driver's side, these are the current three W's that I've been using. Again, you can see kind of these deep grooves that go around it. Um, these are super grippy. I haven't had any problems with that. You can see this is about 10 months of use and you know I can just rinse this right off and no problems. Here's that logo I was telling you about. Some people thought this was a little cheesy, a little too big. Um, hasn't bothered me too much, but I know others have voiced their concerns about that. Oh, and if you've noticed that my long range Model Y has performance pedals, well, that's because uh, these are third party. You can uh, order them in the description below. All right, so let's get these out of here and let's put the 3D Kegus in. So I'm gonna pull the seat back a little bit just to make it a little easier. All right, so let's remove the three W's. Let's take that out. Let's put the 3D Kegus in. Put the seat back forward into its correct spot. All right, so fit looks pretty good. Just needed to be repositioned. There we go. Now it's uh, nice and flush right there. You can see these huge edges right here. So anything that you know falls in here, from snow, you know, and ice to sand, salt, rocks, anything like that, dirt, that's all gonna just stay in here. It's gonna be very hard for it to get outside of these uh, ridges. And I think that's gonna be very easy to clean. There aren't a ton of like grooves and everything in the design. So I think that's gonna make it a little easier to clean. All right, let's take the passenger side out. Again, on the back, you have these bristles. So that's kind of what keeps it in place. I don't think they're as sturdy as the uh, studs on the 3Ws, but it seems to work pretty well. But the design is much better, much cleaner, still has the uh, texture for, you know, keeping grip, but at the same time, you know, looks really nice, kind of looks very premium. Nice little 3D logo here. All right, let's put it inside. All right, let's test the grip on your feet. All right, so very grippy. I can't see your feet sliding even if they're wet. So that is, uh, that's really nice. And again, yeah, just a little bit probably easier to clean and more of a premium look. All right, so let's remove the back seat floor. Let's go ahead and install it. Fits in there nicely. Now this is gonna be a lot easier to clean. It's just you know one piece and you can just take this out, dump it out, rinse it off, and I think you're good. Take this, put this back in there. All right, as you can see, the fit is pretty perfect. And because it is just one you know, sheet, it's gonna be super easy to clean. And it still has that you know, texture, doesn't feel like it's gonna move at all. Looks like it has good grip. And definitely a nice premium feel and look to it. All right, so now that you've gotten to see the 3D Kegus in action, my final thoughts are both options are great, and I really think it just comes down to the look and the design you prefer. Both are grippy with a great fit and destroy the WeatherTech options. The 3D Kegus have a better design, while the 3Ws are probably a bit more rugged. The 3D Kegus are definitely going to be easier to clean, though. So are they going to be replacing the current ones in my Model Y? They are. And for now, there's a new king of the hill, and it's the Kegu liners from 3D Max Spider. I'll be sure to do a follow-up in a few months so you can see how they perform during the fall and part of the winter, so stay tuned for that. So that about wraps up today's review. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. 
Thanks for watching.